Welcome to another video highlighting the most unusual ski resorts in the world. There are many places in the world where you can ski which few people have heard, including North Korea, South Africa and an active volcano in Italy. So, if you're getting bored of mainstream ski resorts and need inspiration, here are another 10 unusual places to ski in the world. Mazar Lebanon We'll start in Lebanon, more precisely Mazar Ski Resort, located an hour away from the bustling Lebanese capital of Beirut. Nestled in the Kfar Debian Mountains, Mazar is the largest ski resort in the Middle East and offers 80 kilometers of slopes. With a variety of runs, from gentle slopes for beginners to challenging black runs for experts, Mazar has it all. And with the state-of-the-art lifts, you'll be able to maximize your time on the mountain. If you make it to the top of Mazar, you'll find yourself 2,400 meters above sea level, where you can enjoy the breathtaking view over the colorful Becca Valley. Coastal towns and even Beirut, the capital, might be seen on a clear day. But Mazar isn't just about skiing, there's so much more to explore. Take a break from the slopes and head to the famous Feria village, a charming mountain town with cozy cafes and shops selling traditional crafts. Or visit the nearby Jeta Grotto, one of the most spectacular cave systems in the world. Cairngorm Mountain, Scotland Apparently, Scotland has five main ski areas, and the skiing here can be quite good. I guess Highlands, it's actually a pretty suitable name since the ski areas are situated between the elevations of 640 and 1230 meters. One of the most popular resorts in Cairngorm Mountain, where Scotland's snowy slopes have been delighting skiers and snowboarders since the 1960s. This mountain splits into two parts, offering beginners bowls at the top that are exposed but snow short. On the right side, you'll find mostly intermediate terrain, and over to the left, a steeper sector offers a challenge for advanced skiers. In total, there are 32 kilometers of runs, but there's more to Cairngorm than just skiing. Located not far from Speyside, you can sample a dram of whiskey, and just 10 minutes away from Britain's only free-ranging reindeer herd. With so many nearby non-skiing activities, it's no wonder why Cairngorm is a popular Scottish ski resort. In addition, you can find lively apres ski in nearby village of Avimor. Dizin, Iran You might be surprised to hear that Iran is a popular skiing destination, but Dizin is one of the largest and most developed ski resorts in the country, offering a unique and exciting skiing experience. One of the standout features of Dizen is its elevation, with the tallest ski lift reaching an incredible 3,600 meters, making it one of the 40 highest ski resorts in the world. The ski season here also tends to last longer than those in Europe, stretching from mid-November to May, giving skiers and snowboarders plenty of time to hit the 18 kilometers of slopes. Dizen is not only the largest ski resort in Iran, but it's also the most popular, and for good reason. With a strong reputation for dry powder, skiers and snowboarders can enjoy fresh and abundant snowfall from December to April. It's no wonder that Dizen is known for offering a unique and exciting skiing experience that's hard to find elsewhere. Mount Hermon, Israel Located in the Golden Heights of Israel, this ski resort is not like any other you have experienced, as it straddles one of the world's most infamously contested borders. Mount Hermon reaches 2,800 meters, but its peak is actually located on the border between Lebanon and Syria. With Israel to one side and Syria and Lebanon to the other, the mountain is constantly patrolled by the Israel Defense Forces and the Israel Police to keep the slopes safe from any potential conflicts. Despite its tumultuous history, the resort has been open since 1971 and boasts 14 pieces that offer decent skiing for all levels. As you drive up to the resort through the Golan Heights, you will pass blocked off minefields. The mountain is dubbed the eyes of the nation for the incredible view it provides deep into Syria. It sure looks beautiful. Malam Jabba, Pakistan Are you ready for a ski adventure that's off the beaten path? Look no further than Malam Jabba, the only ski resort in Pakistan. Located in the Swat Valley, this resort was built in the 1990s with the help of Austrian experts and the Pakistani government. It's truly a unique destination with a vertical drop of 800 meters and stunning views of the Karakoram mountain range. But Malam Jabba is more than just a ski resort. It's also home to a community of Pakistani Buddhists who live in nearby monasteries and stupa, creating a zen-like atmosphere for your ski vacation. 
Malam Jabba's story hasn't been without its challenges. In 2006, the resort was destroyed by the Taliban, but it was rebuilt and reopened in 2011. And now it's better than ever. With one lift and a small ski rental shop, this resort is perfect for those seeking a unique ski experience. Mount Etna, Italy This is sure an unusual ski resort. Not only will you get to hit the slopes, but you will also get to ski on an active volcano. That's right, Mount Etna is one of the world's most active volcanoes which also happens to be a ski area. As you glide down the mountainside, you may catch a glimpse of smoke and ash rising from the summit. Talk about an adrenaline rush! Mount Etna Ski Resort is home to two main ski areas, Nicolossi and Provinzana. While not the biggest of resorts, it boasts 70 kilometers of runs and the views from the summit are nothing short of spectacular. But be warned, skiing at Mount Etna is occasionally affected by volcanic activity. With its lack of tall trees on the slopes, the landscape has an almost lunar appearance, adding to the unique experience of skiing on an active volcano. So, if you're a thrill seeker, sampling the powder of Mount Etna is an absolute must. Tiffindel, South Africa how about skiing in the morning and going on a safari in the afternoon? Welcome to Tiffindale Ski Resort in South Africa, the only ski resort in the country. Tiffindale is located 2,700 meters up in Magdui in the Eastern Cape and typically offers skiable snow from mid-June to mid-August. But don't worry if natural snowfall is scarce. The resort has heavily invested in snow generating machines to ensure optimal conditions for skiers and snowboarders. But that's not all. Ziffindale also has a snow park fully equipped with rails and jumps for those who want to take their skiing or snowboarding to the next level. And after a day on the slopes, head to the highest pub in South Africa, Ice Station 2720, for some Apra ski drinks and breathtaking views. Tiffindale's unique location means you can go on safari in the afternoon and spot some of South Africa's most majestic wildlife. Imagine skiing in the morning and seeing lions, elephants and giraffes in the afternoon. It's truly an experience of a lifetime. Mazik Kryong, North Korea North Korea is known as the most self-imposed isolated country in the world, but they occasionally let tourists in to get a glimpse of the infamous country. Mazik Kryong Ski Resort is special so far in the sense that it's the only one open to tourists. The ski resort was built in just 10 months and began operating in 2013 and boasts 110 kilometers of slopes. But Masik Kryong is more than just a ski resort. It's a project by North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un to increase foreign tourist numbers and promote the country's political cause. Outdoor video screens throughout the resort showcase their leader and the country's propaganda, providing a unique cultural experience. And after a day on the slopes, guests can relax on the on-site 120-room hotel, which features a sauna, massage room, beauty parlor, and even an ice skating rink. This is truly a different experience, and not many people can say they have skied in North Korea. Cloudmont, Alabama, USA Yes, strangely enough, you can ski in Alabama. However, there's a reason why this is the only ski resort in Alabama and the southeastern United States, simply because it doesn't snow a lot in this area. In fact, Cloudmont Ski Resort operates entirely on artificial snow making. Cloudmont is nestled near Lookout Mountain in Mentone, Alabama and offers two slopes for skiing. These beginner levels runs are the perfect spot to learn and fun runs to hit when you find yourself in the deep south in the winter. Two pony lifts are used to transport skiers and boarders back to the top of the slopes. But that's not all. Cloudmont has something for everyone. You can enjoy a round of golf at their nine-hole golf course or go on a breathtaking horseback ride through the picturesque mountains. Edervlat, Iceland Even though the name Iceland insinuates snowy conditions, the volcanic island isn't particularly known for its ski resorts. There are only around 13 ski resorts in Iceland and one of the best is Hedervla. Known for its spectacular views, this ski resort is located above Iceland's second largest urban area in the town of Akureyri. The 15 kilometers of slopes at Hedervla offer something for everyone, from beginners to advanced skiers. With a variety of blue and red runs, you can take your pick and enjoy the scenery as you glide down the slopes. But the fun doesn't stop on the slopes. When the sun goes down, the Apri ski scene heats up. The people of Iceland like to party and they know how to have a good time. Head to one of the bars or restaurants and join in the fun with locals and visitors alike. 
and if you're feeling adventurous, why not explore more of what Iceland has to offer? Take a dip in one of the many hot springs, go on a snowmobile tour, or even catch a glimpse of the northern lights. That's it for today's video. Have you ever visited one of these unusual ski resorts? Let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.